Keith. I'm here with my friend Mark Woolley, and we have been doing a lot of trapping. Well, Mark has, and I've been coming out and trying to learn because I'm not very educated when it comes to trapping. And so I'm learning a lot. And now you have different traps set all over the property yep. um, to catch different animals. Yep. So can you tell me more about this trap and why why you use this one? Yeah, we're down here on a it's just a little wet weather stream, and uh, one of the one of the animals that we want to target and trap is your nest predator, which is raccoons and possums. And coons like to be around the water. So okay. what I've got here set on the edge of the stream is a is a coon trap. It's a it's a dog proof coon trap and it's just a cylinder that you put the bait in and there's a trigger and because a coon and a possum they have those hands they actually reach in there and grab that bait and when they do they fire that trigger and it catches them by the hand. Okay. Um, it's it's only a pull style trigger so if you do have a dog that's got a foot small enough or a house cat or something that could get their foot in there they can't set it off. Oh that's a great Because thing. they can't pull up on it. They don't have the, the fingers like the, the raccoons do. So. Okay. You feel safe setting one around your house like you have one getting in exactly. your garden or getting in getting your, in your trash, trash can, hands. getting in your garden, getting in your you know your dog food or your cat food, whatever you have. Um, these work great. Now are they fairly easy to set up for like if, if the kids wanted to start learning more about trapping? Is this one that you would recommend for, for kids to start getting involved? This is a this is a great trap for a beginner. Um, coons and or raccoons and possums, they are, uh, I'm not going to say they're easy to catch, but they're some of the easier animals okay. to catch out there. Um, this trap requires a little bit of hand strength. You know, okay. you might have to get your parents to help you get them set, but, you know, once you get them set, it doesn't require, you know, all the scent control and, and the dyeing and the waxing like you do to your, to your coyote traps or your fox or bobcat traps. Right. Um, and you can bait them with, I just got a jug of old cheap cat food that okay. I mixed up some Kool-Aid powder in. Okay. Um, got a little sweet smell to it. Marshmallows work great. Stick a big jumbo marshmallow in there on the trigger. Oh, cool. You can put one on top of the trap and it gives a little visual appeal to the raccoon. Okay. They see something white, you know, they get curious. Um, sardines, peanut butter, or you can combine all all four of those. It, that'd be pretty nasty. But be fun for the kids. Yeah, be kids fun love for the kids. That kind of stuff. It's, like I said, it's it's easy to set. They're they're the easier you know animals, any e easier uh, predators out there that you want to trap and okay. get rid of. So it's a great way to get somebody involved. Well, thank you, Mark, for teaching us about it. I know it's something that you're very passionate about. And, you know, trapping was really big a long time ago, and all of our ancestors and throughout the generations been passed down. But it's kind of one of those kind of lost art. I mean, yeah. kids just don't do it anymore and don't even understand it. So it's been a great thing to come here and help the kids understand and help me understand so I can pass it on to mine. So thank you for teaching us. No problem. Happy thank hunting you. and happy trapping, of course.